The first ever polyurethane polymer was developed by a German chemist named Otto Bayer. During World War II, rubber was extremely expensive, in which spandex became a great alternative for it. When scientists later discovered that polyurethanes could be made into threads, they were then combined with nylon to produce lightweight and stretchy garments, or what we call now spandex. Later, in 1953, polyurethane production began in the United States and became popular for foam insulation. In 1956, less expensive foams were introduced. So over the years, polyurethanes were developed into spandex fibers, foams, and thermal insulation. Spandex is widely used in socks, underwear, jeans, bandages, knitwear, and so much more. It's extremely popular in sports as many athletes are looking for soft clothing that is both flexible while playing their sport and comfortable in which they can freely breathe in. Additionally, the spandex material absorbs sweat so that the, the material doesn't feel baggy or heavy whenever they are exercising. Polyurethane foam is also widely used as hot and cold insulations for buildings, refrigerators, adhesives, and even carpet underlays in the form of flexible foams. Polyurethanes are formed by a dial and the monomers of diisocyanate or polyisocyanate. Diol is an alcohol that contains more than one OH group, and the monomers of diisocyanate or polyisocyanate are the functional groups with the formula NCO, where a nitrogen atom links with carbon atom by a double bond, and the carbon atoms links with the oxygen atom also by a double bond. The polymerization of polyurethane is not a condensation polymerization, meaning that no molecules are lost during the process. Polyurethane is formed when the hydrogen atom detaches from alcohol to join with the nitrogen atom in the isocyanate group, while the oxygen atom from the alcohol detaches to link with the carbon atom in the isocyanate group. This reaction is an exothermic reaction as new bond is formed. Polyurethane, as mentioned, is commonly used as hot and cold insulation for the interiors of buildings and homes. It improves the energy efficiency within the buildings and reduces the need to heat up or cool down the interior via heater or cooler. According to Energy Star, 45% of fossil fuels are used to cool buildings and homes. Therefore, application of polyurethane foam to the building walls effectively helps decrease the burning of fossil fuels. In addition, the application of polyurethane foams also makes the building very, very durable and reduce the need of renovation, saving you a few hundred dollars in your pocket. Beside the buildings, polyurethane also works effectively as refrigerator's cold insulation, which leads to the higher energy efficiency. According to ISOPA, the European Dye Isocyanate and Polyo Producer Association, the energy efficiency of refrigerators that use polyurethanes as insulators have increased by 37% within 10 years leading up to 2002. Polyurethane foams are also alternatively used in vehicle seats, armrests, and headrests, making the car weight less, which contributes to the greater fuel efficiency. Thus, the use of polyurethane foams contributes to the reduction of burning fossil fuels in automobiles. Polyurethane is also recyclable, which makes it very sustainable for the Earth. According to ISOPA, more than 250,000 tons of polyurethane from European sources are recycled and recovered every year. With these recyclable properties, polyurethanes do not litter the Earth. Okay, the walls of my house are made with polyurethane foam, and the house is very cool. Comfortable. Uh, there's no need to have AC. Thanks to polyurethane, I have these comfortable spandex to wear during my practices and when I'm running. And for this super fashionable swimming cap. My period car seat is not made with polyurethane. 
So uh, the car is really heavy and ran out of gas really quickly. With this uh, car seat, uh, it was made of polyurethane and the car become much more lighter and I don't have to fill up the gas to, to open. Polyurethane! It's so great!